That's Rock Ninja here from SoRealFlix.com. And uh, this is part two for my Asian film collection. This collection is going to involve some Samuel Hong, some uh, Yoon I hope I'm saying the names correctly. Also got Beardy. You know who Beardy is, right? Lung Kar Yun. I hope I'm saying that correctly. That's Beardy. I just call him Beardy. He has some cool films. Those three guys are pr pretty much in, uh, come together in those films a lot together. So we'll also have some Donnie Yen and some uh, Chai Young Fat, some Angela Mao, some uh, Gordon Liu, and some other random stuff that I had on my shelf at that moment. I'm going to share with you all these films, and let's get down to it. Okay, first up, as you can see, I have sitting right here, I got some Sam Hung. I'm gonna start with him first. Warriors 2, must be in your collection. Great film, as most of his films. Definitely gotta check it out. Good action, good comedy. Next up, The Victim stars Sam Hung. And guess what? Got the beardy in it too. The Victim, highly praised by Kung Fu uh, collectors. Gotta have it. Buy it. Enjoy. Next up, Encounters, uh, Spooky Encounters. Sam Hung is a uh, ghost story like comedy, good action, just like most of his films. Great action. It's a fat guy who can actually actually fight. You'll enjoy it. And speaking of fat guys, let's check out Filthy Guy. Oh, some more comedy. This is more base. This is more comedy, I would say, as you can tell by the title. Of course, Sam Hung's playing a dirty person. Not like, you know, dirty, like sexually, but you know, dirty. Filled with dirt or whatever. Anyways, a fun film to watch. Funny. Great action. Just like most of his films. Coming up next, uh, Petty Cab Driver. This is uh, one that was hard for me to get, but I found it, got it, and uh, it was a good film, actually. I liked it. He was, uh, he's like a, a cab driver, like a, a driving cab driver like that. No, he's uh, a guy that it, it holds a uh, cart and he runs. What? Great action. Definitely worth having in your collection, just like all his films. Next up, Titus is going to give it away as a comedy, Penny Host Hero. As you can see, boom. This is actually a really good film. I think Sam uh, plays a cop in this, and uh, he does a great job. Great action, just like all his films. How many times do I have to say that? Next up, a great film, Eastern Condors. This one actually has some great, uh, great, great action in it. Got some, uh, very gory scenes in, uh, Yun Wu Ping. Look at this. His name's on it. Gotta have this. Great film. Belongs in your collection if you're a Samuel Hong fan. If you don't have it, shame on you. Next up, Eternal Conflict. AKA Odd Couple. Great film. Uh, also stars Beardy in it. Copy I got's not all that great, so I have to upgrade. Hopefully they'll put it on Blu ray. Who knows? Next up, it's a film that any martial art collector has to have in their collection, and that is Magnificent Butcher. If you haven't seen the shame on you, if you don't have it in your collection, shame on you. It belongs in there. Great film. Samuel Hung is uh, top notch on this. Action is great. The comedy is good. And guess who's that? Whose name is that again? Yun Wu Ping is in this one as well. Not in it, but uh, stunt coordinator. He's uh, and he's directing, so also executive producer uh, Raymond Chow got some big uh, names in this thing. You gotta have it. The action's great, great story as well. Next up, another film you have to have from Sam Hung Iron Fisted Monk. I highly enjoyed this film, uh, definitely belongs in your collection. Great action again. Check out, or you can go to silverflix.com and I'll have uh, all the ratings there. Next up, Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon. I had to import this guy. No, it's not imported. Never mind. Uh, overall, it's a Great. It's a cool film. Not all that great, but it's got some funny moments. Skinny Tiger, Fatty Dragon. Great film. Definitely got to check this out. If you don't have it, pick it up. Worth uh, having in your collection. Next up, Dirty Tiger, Crazy Frog. Playing some dirty again, I swear. Overall, great film. Fun film. Funny. It has good action in it, but not as great as his other films. But definitely worth having in your collection. All right, next up, Enter the Fat Dragon. Another Bruce Lee portraying type film. Uh, he did, but this is like he's a, a huge fan of Bruce Lee. He's in there with his nunchucks. He has posters of Bruce Lee on his wall. This is a uh, great film to have. I highly enjoyed this one and uh it's definitely a must have in the collection so pick it up if you can find it enter the fat dragon don't forget he also worked with bruce lee so you can do that type. all right next up we're moving on to some y yun Bio. 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 anyways the prodigal prodigal son belongs in your collection if you don't have it something's wrong with you great great film also starring samuel hung but he's not the lead in this film Overall, awesome uh, fights. Kind of weird storyline, but it's a good story. Fights are way awesome. It's a pretty good film. Belongs in your collection. Okay, next up, another film that belongs in your collection. Yu Gi Oh film. Film also starring Samuel Hung. Knockabout and also has this guy in it. Who's that? Beardy. Belong, belongs in your collection. Top notch action right here. If you don't have it, something you're missing out on a lot of things. All right, so next up, a very hard film to find. And if you can find it, you gotta definitely pick it up. Dreadnought. Very cool film. Definitely must have in your collection. And also uh, directed by uh, Yun Wu Ping. Gotta have it. And produced by Raymond Chow. Some heavy hitters. Gotta have it. If you can find it. Next up, 
Kickboxer! And I'm not talking about the Sean Claude Van Damme one, no. I'm talking about the Yoon Vial movie. Gotta have it. I highly enjoyed it. Got some great action in it. And come up to Thunder Mantis, who's that beardy? And he's starring in this film. Awesome films, got some great fights in it. Highly recommend it if you don't have it. Pick it up. All right, that's it for that. We're moving on some Chow Yun Fat. First up, The Killer. A must have in your collection. Great action and great gun battles. Awesome story, gotta have it. And it's written and directed by who? John Woo. Next up, The Replacement Killers, a decent film. Again, it's got some cool action in it. This is a, more of a, a, an American type film by uh, Chai and Fett. And I still highly, and I still highly enjoyed it. But it's definitely nowhere near Killer. Definitely nowhere near that. But it's still a good film to have in your collection. Okay, a film that everybody knows, and everybody should probably have in your collection. It's a Wuxia type film. Crafts and Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Great film. Got some great, it's got a great cast. Like, it also, uh, like, bes besides Chai and Fat as Michelle Yeoh in it, and you'll hear her name come up a, a few more times here. Definitely a must have if you don't have it yet, and just definitely a rebuy for Blu ray once I have the money for it. Okay, next up, it's another film, Chai Young Fat. Curse of the Golden Flower. It's an epic big battle scenes and fights and there's no hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's a lot of weapons going on in here. There's no guns. It's a period piece. So, it's a decent film. I enjoyed it. And I think it'll look really good on Blu-ray. So, I'm going to have to upgrade this one day. Next up, a, real, a hard uh, film to get. And I had to import. So, I'll tell you in fat again, of course. And guess what? Directed by John Woo. Cool film. Of course, as you can tell by the, uh, the name of the film, A Thief. Once a Thief. Is that, uh, he's playing Thief, right? Cool film. Gotta pick it up. Come up to some of my favorite Chow Young fat movies. It's a trilogy. Uh, the first two movie comes into, comes in a uh, box set. And guess who else is involved? John Woo. A Better Tomorrow 1 and 2. Great film, great action, great battle scenes. And it's just amazing overall. You gotta have this. If you don't have these two films, something's wrong with you. And speaking of A Better Tomorrow, here's a third one which has never been released in the US. And this is an import as you can see. You can't read anything on it, but it's still a cool film. Definitely belongs in your collection. It's not as good as the first two, but definitely worth it. Definitely pick this up if you don't have it. If you don't have it, if you've never seen it, something's wrong with you. Next up, Hong Kong, 1941. Boom, cool film. It's got some hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's more of a drama piece, but awesome. I enjoyed it. Pick it up, check it out if you haven't seen it yet. Next up, A City on Fire, boom! Another awesome film. This is uh, more of uh, a modern piece compared to Hong Kong 1941. Again, it's China and Fat with some guns and explosions. Can't go wrong. Next up, uh, kind of another period piece. The Postman Fights Back. Some hand-to-hand -hand combat. China and Fat is very young in this and I highly recommend it. It's a cool film. Now we're moving on to some Donnie Yen. Butterfly Swords, boom. A decent film, I enjoyed it, but it's not the greatest. It's kind of a Wuxia-like film, but it also stars Michelle Yu. Like I said, her name will pop up a few more times. Cool film. Next up, a film that everybody knows and everybody should have in their collection. Iron Monkey, gotta have it. It's also directed by uh, Yoon Woo Ping. Gotta have his films too. I have a lot of his films. Anyways, must have, and I should upgrade this on Blu-ray soon. Definitely must be on Blu-ray. Next up, Bodyguards and Assassin. A decent film, not the greatest, but it's got some cool action in it, and I enjoyed it, and you might enjoy it too. It's more of a period piece. It's more like swords and stuff, but it's a cool film. Next up is like a TV show or TV movie. It's a Fist of Fury Sworn Vengeance. The beginning of a legend. I highly enjoy this actually, but the uh, production's a little lower in quality due to as it's I think made for TV movie or it is a TV show it's 220 minutes overall and I enjoyed this a lot it's got it's a lot of dining in can't beat that next up in the line of fire 4 it's a cool film mediocre though I would say it's got some cool action in it and guess what directed by Yun Wu Ping he's everywhere next up Wing Chun highly enjoyed this film some great hand-to-hand -hand action in this definitely must have if you can find it you probably won't be able to find it though it's a really good film and guess what Yun Wu Ping again and guess who this lady is i told you she'll come up again a bunch of times 
Next up, Legend of the Wolf. It's an okay film. I only got to watch parts of it because it keeps cutting in and out. Kind of sucks because the, the DVD sucks, I guess. Have to rebuy this one day. Overall, it's a decent film. From what I've seen, it's got some cool action. It has a chase scene in it, but it's okay. Okay, coming up to some Gordon Liu films. The warrior from Shaolin. He plays a monk, Gordon Liu does. See all those dots on his head right there. Uh, hand-to-hand -hand action. Pretty cool film. Great film. Cool action, as I said already a thousand times. And uh, I would say pick it up if you can find it. Okay, next up. The Shaolin Drunken Monk. Gordon Liu again. He's playing a monk. And he's drunken, I'm assuming. Right? Anyways, uh, also has the beardy in it. So, definitely must have. Next up, my favorite out of the three films I just showed you out of Gordon Liu. Fist and Guts. It's got some cool action in it. It's a little bit better action, I feel. And, uh, and uh, I highly enjoyed it. You definitely gotta pick this up. It also has Loli in it. Play, you know, the awesome bad guy. He plays a bad guy and everything. He's pretty good at it. Gotta have it. Next up, another uh, film with Gordon Liu in it. But, he's not the main character. Drunken Monkey. It's got some cool action in it. Check it out if you want. I think I gave it a mediocre review. Next up, Shaolin Kids in Hong Kong. Possibly the worst uh, Gordon Liu film for me, personally, that I've seen. Overall, I don't know. The action's okay, but it does with kids mostly. I was looking for an action film. Next up, Shaolin Wu-Tang, a film that everybody's been talking about before I even got into Asian films. And this is one of them that made me want to get into it. And I highly enjoyed it. Hey, that's it for Gordon Liu for now, until I show you my uh, Dragon Dynasty and Shaw Brother collection. We're moving on to Angela Mao Ying movies. Got a couple here. Got the uh, the collection of hers that just came out with Kung Fu Bob artwork. It has When Taekwondo Strikes, The Tournament, Stoner, The Himalayan, A Queen's Ransom, and Broken Oath. A lot of the films I like, there's one that I don't like on it, and the one, there's one that's mediocre. The Queen's Ransom I didn't like that much, and The Stoner, Stoner is mediocre. Okay, next up. Up, Lady Constables, or as you did, they are uh, aka Lady Karate. Overall, it's a fun film, cool film. Uh, I enjoyed it. I think I gave it maybe a three, three and a half. It belongs in your collection, I say. Okay, next up, there's some random uh, martial art films here. We've got Son of the Swordsman, an okay film, not all that great, I would say. As per cast, don't really know nobody in it. Okay, film. Next up, something that a lot of people were talking about lately for some odd reason. Not lately, but maybe last year, because there was a clip on uh, YouTube. Kung Fu vs. Yoga. I picked it up. It's not that great of a film, but the action in it, there's some weird stuff going on here. And if you want to see the weird stuff, check it out. It's just weird itself, because Kung Fu vs. Yoga, Kung Fu will always win. Next up, it's a guy that you already know, Chen Quan Tai and Invincible Monkey Fist. Cool film. I enjoyed it. Got some cool hand-to-hand -hand combat. Shaw Brother legend here. He's in a lot of films, actually, in, for Shaw Brothers. And a lot on his own, as well. This is one that's a decent film. I think this, is a, this was actually shot in Indonesia. But, a decent film. Next up, and lastly, Michelle Yao. Her again. This is uh, more of a uh, Chai Yun fat like movie with the action, as you can look at the cover. It's actually a good movie. I enjoyed it. If you can find it, pick it up. Alright guys, that's it for part two of my Asian film collection. It's quite a lot. Thanks for reviewing. Check out all the links below. Maybe I'll have some reviews down there. And uh, don't forget to, to keep on checking our YouTube page and SilverFlix.com for part three of my Asian film collection. I like sharing with you guys. So keep coming back. SRF Ninja from SilverFlix.com. Ninja out.